do like a little bit of distance away, but doing it like this, you already have an air pocket and you're just going to push that into the bottom. Please don't stir it with a toothpick. I mean, I've seen I, somebody stirred it one time with a paper clip and I about freaked out. It's like these things cost like 60 to to $100 each. So they're not cheap. So the way I like to do it is with a little bit of pressure that my finger can then absorb, I center the edge on the bottle itself. And look how much room I have left in there. Not that much, but I'm going to squeeze and it's only going to fill up from the side to the top. Now it's nice and overflowed and I just take it off. That should be almost all the way across. It looks like, but it is it does have a high surface tension. So let me make sure I've got no air in there. Yeah. And then you can always just add some more in if you want. That's good. So I'm not seeing too big of an air pocket. There is a little one on the side because this thing is so viscous that a lot of times it kind of binds itself. So if you look there it almost looks like on the opposite side a crescent moon shaped air pocket right against the side. You see why I like to use the uh, big side to do all this. All right, I think they got most of it. The side of your head to start with, can I please get you to hold your left hand out in front of you, palm facing up? Yes, you can bend your elbow back a little bit. Mm -hmm. So then I'm going to find your temple, kind of press it down. Remember to hold it that same way because you don't want to press the head independently of the wire. So you kind of do it all at one motion, okay? And the reason I have you hold your hand like that is to keep you from rolling over this with your chair and breaking it <laughs> or to um, also keep them from getting all tangled up and it also has a neat little side effect that it forces you to sit rather still so because these things getting caught on something is a surefire way to not only break them but also pull them off and we got to start over so i said you know just hang on to this for me please actually i think i'm going to want to take it this way facing to the outside yes because you can just hang on to that wire for me thank you now i'm going to do the rest so do the medial one first, the one closest to the nose, centered underneath the eyeball, because that's easy to get, right? And you can actually say, okay, I'm going to dab off that gel that's been soaking on your face right now. So I can get you to look up and relax. Don't wipe it because you want you don't want to remove it. You want to keep some of it there. So I just dab it off. Here. Oops, I should put the other one first. I've seen some people cut these things after they apply the electrodes. Uh -huh. Having the scissors that close to this wire. And they can be a little bubbled over the top like that. That's fine. Because when I put it on. All right, so. Okay, so you're videotaping yourself, right? This will be good. Yeah. Okay, so basically what are your, the instructions you're going to give to the participant are that I'm going to find the exact right place to put this. So I need you to do a couple things for me. First of all, I need you to look up. Now look at me. Now make a mean face. Squint your eyes. Okay, now relax and look up again. 
And then right when they do that, you zero in for the kill. So while you're doing this right now and filming yourself, go ahead and squint like you did. Uh, mean face. Look at, look at me. Yeah. That line right there, that's what you're aiming at. Okay. So now that you're looking up, I'm going to center my electrode first, line it up lightly, and then press down on your orbital socket. Yeah, it feels weird, doesn't it? Yes. Doing fine. And now I'm going to give you this wire to hold. Now I'm going to hurry and do this other one real quick because I know this thing is uncomfortable and participants think it's uncomfortable too. Um, and you generally want to get this part over with as quickly as possible too because then they start developing a negative affect um, about the testing process itself and that could theoretically skew the results especially if you're measuring some sort of affective change. Now we're measuring sensory processing change, so that shouldn't matter too much, but we're also gathering some affective data. So it might... This one's going to go just like we lined it up. So I'm going to tell you the same thing again. Say, make another mean face for me. Okay, that's good. Now relax, look up, and then follow that line. Very good. I see. Okay, now you can relax. Now, while you're still sitting there, but before we go into the booth, what we're going to do is we're going to check the impedance to make sure we don't have any like air pockets or anything. That's the number one thing that's wrong with these. So right now it's set to kilo ohm, which is fine. Okay. You can also set it on 50 kilo ohms, which you know it's okay too, I guess. But um, right now it's on like one kilo ohm, which is basically like complete resistance almost. It's a lot of resistance. So we can only do two at a time in here, so I'm going to say, okay, let's do, first let's do one of the hot ones, hot ones, <laughs> one of the recording electrodes and the ground. So I know this is the ground, I'm going to plug that into the black, and then one of the hot ones I'm going to plug into the red. Your goal is 50 kilo ohms or less. Yay. Now I'm going to switch, lower the better, and if you find that if we let this soak in for even like five minutes longer, that number probably would go down. You won't get anything underneath 100 if you have an air pocket, so that's why you know right away. This one's actually pretty good, it's a 25. One of my 490s last semester, Phoebe, whenever she'd do this, she would get like an 8. Whoa. She was like super good at it. And she's like, I didn't even know. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah, so that one's a 23. Now we're going to see how well they talk to each other. All right, not bad. Still below 50, so that should be okay. But these are the two recording ones talking, measuring the resistance in between them. So that's about 40 something, 47 kilo ohms, and we were getting 25, 30 ish with the other two talking to the ground. So that's going to be reduced out. So we are going to have probably about 10 to 15 kilo ohms worth of resistance already in, into the computer. But it should, you know, we should be able to control for some of that. Some of this also might be these fluorescent lights. Yeah. They give off a 60 hertz frequency that these copper electrodes are very sensitive to. So that could be part of it. Let's turn the lights off and find well, we out. Well, <laughs> we will when we actually run the experiment. And um, that's why there's no light in the soundproof booth. There is, a, there is a light there, but it's always disabled. Okay, so you can unplug these. Say, can I get you to hold these again for me, please? Please be very careful. Now, follow me. If you want to live, yes. follow me. So you're kind of guiding the participant around so that they don't tangle everything up. So okay, turn to your left and have a seat here, please. 
Okay, very good. Now let me grab these for you. Okay, now you can scoot up and make yourself comfortable. And what we're going to do is I'm just going to plug you into the recording component. Again, try to refrain from saying the words electricity, even <laughs> though that these things have never, ever even hurt anybody, even mildly. Okay, so here is our uh, adapter that runs to the amplifier that then goes to the acknowledge computer. Center point is ground. Be careful when you're plugging them in also to so just hold the collar and lightly snap it in there. Other two, it doesn't matter, one in white, one in red. All it'll do is reverse the positive and the negative and we get rid of that anyway. So we'll plug that one in here. Let you do this one so you can feel what it feels like. Mm -hmm. Like that. Just be very careful. It's harder than you think at first, so like hold that collar pretty close. There you go. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And pulling them out is even tougher because you don't want to snap that is wire. It, I didn't even know it didn't make uh -huh. a snap yeah. noise. Yeah, it went up. Okay. I felt it, it went up. <laughs> okay, so this has a nice little collar clip on it. So what I always tell people is like, I'm going to attach this to the back of your shirt. Is that okay? Yes. yes. Before I do, I want to kind of bind this up a little bit, but remember no twisting or folding. But once it's kind of bound up a little bit, I'm going to tuck it behind your ear. That way there's some natural slack built in. And this is something that's not in the manual. I just have kind of figured this out. And wherever there is, wherever the slack starts to run out from your ear to here, that's where I'm going to attach this. So I'm just gonna beep, attach it like right there, should be fine. Because you want it to hang relatively loose right here. I mean, you can have it tight, but I think it's, again, it removes some sort of variables if you do it the same way. And I like there to be hardly any tension coming back because, you know, you can like, you know, have these all the way back and yeah, it's not very comfortable. So then you say, okay, I'm going to now place the headphones on you. And it doesn't matter right or left, but if you want to be consistent with the rule of thumb, yeah, yeah, because, grab some wipes up here you right. up there. yeah, so these this is a bioral, bioral test. It's going to be the same out of both. But if you have a left and right, just remember red, right. Okay. Always do it. Oh, oh. Something's falling. Yeah, they all fell off. Oh, it's okay. It's kind of taking the slack up, and the headphones will help hold them in place. you position those for me? Yeah. Okay. I just try to like cover your ear just enough. Also, since you you don't have a lot of uh, top part of your ear right here for me to tuck that behind, mm -hmm. so you can also just use the headphone itself. Oh, okay. And just kind of like lay them right there because it should be enough to where there's still no slack on this piece of it. I might just lay that right here actually. So now we have like a nice soft curve here, up around here, and then down there, and then it's on your face. Mm. Okay, so I'm gonna start recording. Uh, the end.